Is political change now um, a political party, or it's uh, well, people no, want to no, know look, what it is? Yeah, it's a platform to get the discussion going, and out of that discussion is going to be the birth of a political party. And I, I don't even know what we're going to call it yet. We've, we've got a bunch of names. I want to run a bunch of surveys and stuff on the uh, polls on the Facebook, and, and let the people be part of this process. So anyone who wants to just be part of the process, come to our page, see what's going on, and hey, if it's your thing, you know, stay. If, it, if it's not, then you know, go find another political party. But I can't think of why anyone would because the parties that we have here, they don't work. It's like, like what choices do people have? Here? Aren't you afraid that you're going to, to burn, burn like uh, to burn yourself because now it's not. People say now it's not the, the appropriate time to to create a party because everyone. You know what I thought really about life and business yeah. and being successful? You can just make excuses or you can just get busy doing it. And, and if you're doing the right thing, people will find you. I don't know. Maybe it won't be this election. Maybe it'll be two years from now when the next election is, if this party holds, or, or four years from now, or, or, or eight years. Uh, I don't know. But we're, we'll definitely get the, the right folks in. And really, all, of, all of the Bulgarians have to make up their mind. When they get up every morning, and they walk on the streets, and they're driving to work, and, and they take their kids to school, and they're doing all this stuff, is this really the country that, that you want to have? And if the answer is, is no, well, then you got to do something about it. You have to take action. And there's no time to take action, like, immediately. You don't wait. You don't, you don't just, like, think about it. You can overthink things. I call it analysis paralysis, right? And you just don't. You just do. You take action. And when you take action, a funny thing happens. Success seeks velocity. And when you get the momentum and you're moving along, all kinds of magic happens. I mean, I've got people coming left, right, and center who want to talk now. And, and, and I've got judges, I've got politicians, I've got advisors, you know, and, and they're all like political, ex-political advisors. And that was my ones. next question. Yeah. Who, who do you talk to? A, I mean... A bunch of folks, like all over. And, and I get their opinions and I, I listen to what they have to say. And I verify the stories. So, do you have any connections with uh, political figures from the past, from the current political parties? Do you uh, have any? No, absolutely not. None. None. Zero. Zero. I, I have no affiliation, or, or do I want to, with the, the current um, political parties that, uh, that are in Parliament. What about this new party that you would like to uh, initiate? Who's going to be, um, who's going to be uh, on board in the team? On the team. How, well, how we've already to... assembled a mm -hmm. world-class team of experts, and watch how we assemble them. Watch. All I ask for, I invite everybody there just to watch what we do. And, and if it's your thing, and and you see that we're doing things correctly and head in the right direction, you have to support us. That's mm -hmm. it. I, I mean, I, I can't force anyone to do anything. All right, but when will you announce anyone from 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 the team? What is happening now? Well, people will see it. I mean, they'll just see it uh, un unfold. So mm -hmm. we've got the people. Where a lot of folks are working really hard right now uh, behind the scenes. And uh, as time goes on, this whole thing will uh, unveil itself. Okay, so let's imagine you, you form this party. So which will be your priorities? What would you oh, solve first? Okay, you know, like, as, like as a problem if I could just like, first of all, we'd have to win with the majority of the vote to do what I would like to get done, and that is basically you need to fix the justice system here. The justice system has real problems. There's a lot of great judges here. The majority of them are honest, except there's a, sm a, s a small minority of them that make their lives absolutely miserable. And so the first thing you do is clean up the justice system. You're not going to get some company to come in here and invest in Bulgaria, you know, 10 million, 100 million, a billion dollars for, for projects when they know that there's an unstable government that's corrupt. The people don't want to make that kind of investment. So the first thing you have to do is stabilize the, the, the justice system. Once you do stabilize the justice system, then the rest of the country will stabilize as well. I mean, th that's the first thing that must be done is. is is get rid of the corruption. Have to, have to. And once people see that that's taken care of, people will be open then to start listening to the message of, hey, come to invest in Bulgaria. You know, tourism is, could be absolutely huge here. This, I grew up nine years in, in Canada. I lived in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And this reminds me very similar of that beautiful mountains, 
uh, you know, nature everywhere. There are a lot of reasons people would love to come to this country. But they're not going to come when they hear the kind of stories that are put out you know, by folks about Bulgaria and what's going on right now and the, you know, the turmoil in the governments. It's, it's counterproductive. What do you think about Bulgarians in general? Oh, man, they're great. Huh? Oh, they're great. Look, I live in Spain for one year, and I would have the Spanish people come and, and, and do work. It would take me three weeks to get something done. And I just, and my girlfriend was Bulgarian at the time, so I said, hey, let's get, you know, get Bulgarians in here. So I got rid of the, all the Spanish people and just started hiring Bulgarians. They show up on time, ready to work, and they're hardworking, they're intelligent, they're very practical. I don't know, I, I, I think Bulgarians are um, devalued in the eyes of this kind of, of, of the EU, and it's a shame. That's because of what's happening in the government. <sighs> um, I know. All right. So you've been talking to a lot of people in the past two months since you've launched the platform. You've received uh, hundreds and thousands of uh, messages and emails yep. from all across the country. What was the general message from the people? They're glad. They're happy. They're thrilled to death to see somebody's doing something or trying. And by, by the way, Bulgarians are going to have to do this. I'm just the organizer. I, like I said, the creation of power for others to use. This thing is being created for Bulgarians and this country and going to be led by Bulgarians. I, I don't want any position in any cabinet, nothing. The only thing I would like to see is that I would be able to advise the business sector. That's it. And, and I'll, I, I got a company to run. I just want to get things like just normal and, and just go on with my life. So I guess that there will be a lot of new questions uh, coming in the next few days. You'll be here to answer them. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Cool. Oh. You'll be in Sofia, in Bulgaria, all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to take a, a, a few weeks off, you know, with uh, travel around. My daughter's coming, so. You know. What about the protests? What do you expect? How, how do you expect to the the situation to to well, develop? Well, obviously, it's August here, and because it's August, people take their vacations and they go other places, back to their their home villages or the Black Sea. So. I hope they continue. I want to see them continue. They, 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 they must. You must keep pressure on Parliament, otherwise nothing's going to happen. So you, you know, I, I think that the government's just waiting for the people to stop. They think that they, if they wait long enough, it'll stop. Basically, you know, just beat down the people by just attrition, just by time. You know, I hope that doesn't happen. And finally, what would you say to Plamenor Asharsky right now? I'm sure he's going to see this message. No, well, we, we definitely need new elections. They need to do the right thing. When he's sitting in that office, put Bulgaria first, because he has to live here too. And is he happy with what he sees? Uh, he might give a lot of rhetoric and, and talk and say the words, but actions speak louder than words, and I don't see the actions that are required to move this, this, this country ahead. They need to make the right changes, do the right thing. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. See you next time. Great. Oh, and one more thing. I, I want to do a little, uh, a little tease. Uh, very shortly, we're going to announce who the head of the party is. And he is a 36-year-old, very smart, dynamic young man. And, and look for that announcement coming soon. So, you'll uh, be very surprised who he is. Hmm. Oh. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah.